tarot lovers, right? Our card of the day is the Justice card. Check it out. So there's this regal figure with a crown on. She has um, some scales in one hand and a sword in the other hand. Uh, she's sitting between two columns with a veil behind. Now the Justice card represents that, the justness of life really, and that everything is fair in the bigger picture. Not that we see it's fairness, not that we understand it is fairness, and, the, and it's very difficult to, um, to talk about fairness when there seems to be so many atrocities and, and, and crazy unbalanced actions and, and mad things in the world. So it's, uh, we could go down a rabbit hole here, but I don't want to go down, I don't want to go too deep into this story. But, um, but she talks about how all manifestations are in perfect vibrational alignment with the energy that is happening, taking place, existing in a certain time. In that perfect vibrational alignment, everything that takes place is vibrationally in tune and perfect. It doesn't mean that it's always great. It doesn't mean that it's the best uh, manifestation that we can uh, have. It doesn't mean that the, all the experiences that we'll attract into our life are going to be the ones that, are, that we really want. It just means that every experience that we attract into our life will have a valuable, important lesson for us because it is in tune with uh, and it is vibrationally aligned with in some way our inner self and, our, and uh, those vibrations and those ideas, those beliefs, those habits, those emotions, those, the, <clears throat> those energies that we are holding on to. And a lot of those energies that we're holding on to, we're holding on to unconsciously. We don't even see it. We don't even, under, we don't even understand or have consciousness of the belief systems that are holding and, and supporting and backing up the vibrations that we do become aware of and that we are aware of and that become part of our conscious personality. This is what the veil means behind her. She is saying that a lot of manifestation is not, we're not very clear, it's veiled and it's hidden, it's occult. And a lot of why we create what we do in our lives is, um, is because we are not completely aware of, of the subtleties of the vibrations that we're holding on to and that we're attached to in our lives. Nevertheless, everything that we do manifest um, and part of her message is, is to, to own everything that we do manifest, to actually own up to it. You know, it's like going to court or, and sitting in front of the judge and go, yeah, you're right, I did it, I was wrong. And there may be accounts to settle. There may be, um, there may be a, 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 a you an admitting, if you like, you be with yourself about certain vibrations and energies that you're holding on to that maybe don't do you any favors. And it's about taking that sword and, and cutting those things out of your life. So the balance here, the balance and the scales that she's holding is, is, is trying to say, hey, you know, everything is in, aligned with karmic law. Nothing can step outside of this karmic law. And karmic law is not like, oh, you did something bad, something bad's gonna happen to you. No, it's if you're vibration, vibrating, if you're holding on to this negative vibration, then you're likely to do negative things and you're likely to attract similar negativity into your life. However, if you cut out this, uh, uh, this negative habit, or if you find the root of it and you dig it out with that sword, like you would a very stubborn weed that doesn't want to just be pulled out from the surface because it's gonna grow again from the root that you didn't dig out. But if you really go to the root of your stories and, and shift and change the patterns and the ideas and the beliefs that are behind the vibrations that we're seeing is, is the attractive force pulling into our life, what we, what we need to experience in order to see and to mirror who we actually are, then we can make a change, then we can um, create uh, something that, that might feel more just or, or, or have a more positive version of justice for our lives. So whether we are not manifesting what we want to manifest or we end up manifesting some things that we don't want to manifest, it's all perfect because whatever is taking place is actually in alignment with who we are and who, what we need to see. Now, this might not always be pretty, but the two columns in this card are, are, are the same color. They're very, they, look, they look the same. They're not black and white like in the High Priestess. They're, they are the same color and 
this tells us that hey you know we need to face the darker stories and the lighter stories with 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 the same acceptance and understanding that hey there's important and, and practical lessons in each of these stories and we need to learn to own that in order to move on and she is the uh, she represents or the justice card represents um, the ne us entering into the next phase of our evolution so we've gone through the one to ten of the of the, uh, um, of the first ten major arcana and she's number eleven so she's this first step which which takes us to a new level of understanding a new a new level of potential growth where we can take everything uh, to an upgrade and we can up level ourselves but in order to do so we need to really understand that the law of karma is in perfect harmony all the time um, and that the vibration of a country the vibration of a family the vibration of you are going to be perfectly aligned with the lessons and the stories that you you bring into this life you bring into this world that you've come here to experience and you've come here to transcend and transform and grow and teach and and learn all about so understanding that we can um, accept the consequences of our actions we can own them and, and we can maybe challenge our, ourselves to cut out some of those old stories that we don't need to really hold on to there's a big shout out here to to all you libras out there and this is the energy of the libra and there's a very karmic karmic force in, in that libra dynamic of duality um, and about finding balance and that and that need there's a need inside of us to maybe some settle some accounts admit to our guilt if we need to admit to making mistakes you know so that we don't have to make them again if we hide those mistakes and pretend we haven't made them we're going to go out and be that repeat offender and we'll get drawn back into court and get thrown in jail it's not about putting ourselves in jail um, from but, um, by admitting our mistakes it's not about w wallowing in our guilt and our shame it's not about that is that is an antiquated system that doesn't work it's about admitting our failures and learning from them and growing beyond them and we can't do that if we're sitting in guilt and shame so don't put yourself in in any um, in any mental prison um, and be very careful with the shame and, and the guilt stories because they will just become more vibrationally negative attractive forces to bring in different different energies into your life but it is about owning up to our stories it might be about helping other people own up to their stories too if they're open if they're willing but there's a little bit of that energy in the day today and definitely in this card and hopefully it serves you in some way and it can br help you bring a little bit more clarity into your life a little bit more direction and focus and love and all that beautiful stuff. Have a fantastic day.